Greetings programs, today's brand review is of the WrestleMania 32 Elite Brock Lesnar figure. Let's do this, start for the packaging, this is the WrestleMania 32 packaging, I believe it's just him and The Undertaker, and it's great, it's white, blue, and red, pretty much the logo for this year's WrestleMania, bam, right there, and it's you know spread throughout the packaging, it looks phenomenal, bam, Brock Lesnar, that's a horrible Paul Heyman, but Brock Lesnar is my favorite current WWE superstar, yeah, <laughs> because CM Punk is not around anymore, but there is a photo of Brock Lesnar on that side, and on this right side, WrestleMania logo looks a little more pretty. Uh, same stuff, Brock Lesnar, Elite. And then here's the front of the packaging. I'll uh, go backwards a little bit. Here you can see that it says right there, highly detailed action figure, eight inches, eight and up, Elite. It's got this really cool like layer behind this layer, but it's actually not, it's all one. So really great design. And the WrestleMania logo are up top, you already saw. Warning choking hazard. You get to see inside the figure, which one you get. Includes a belt and a shirt and some A-hole. Rip this open. Not this one, but another one at the store. I didn't even notice it because I was like, oh, I went home and I noticed he's supposed to have a belt. I don't know if the belt was like behind him or something because I noticed the belt was missing. This is torn a little bit, but I didn't care because the face looked the best paint defect wise. So I see at the bottom there, it said, you know, on the front, includes shirt and WWE Championship belt. I was like, hmm, where's the belt? Maybe it's behind him. But I seen a bunch of stock photos that the belt is included right there on his shoulder and some idiot stole it. What a douchebag. Anyway, in the bottom, WrestleMania, Brock Lesnar, same stuff right there. On the bottom, this toy was made in China. Here's the back. This is, I guess, the WrestleMania 20 Brock Lesnar, which was his last WrestleMania before he decided to come back. Uh, and he got booed by the crowd for leaving for the NFL, and he gave double birds to everybody. It was just great. It was actually a really bad match between him and Goldberg, but you have your authentic sticker there, Elite Logo. Awesome picture of him when he was really young, and it fades to black, and then you have logos down here at the bottom. I'll get close for the statistics. The statistics are actually right. He is about 280, and he is six foot three. The F5, one of the greatest finishing moves of all time, and the Kimura Lock from Minneapolis, Minnesota, even though he's from the Dakotas. This is WrestleMania 20 ring attire. I'm pretty sure he was not the champion for WrestleMania 20, but they decided to include a whoopsie. I already opened it because I love Brock Lesnar. I couldn't wait for this review to <laughs> open him up. But, you know, it includes a belt, but he was obviously not the champion of WrestleMania 20. The uh, champions that walked out were uh, Chris Benoit and <laughs> uh, Eddie Guerrero that walked out, uh, respectively, for championships in those bouts. But uh, youngest world champion, is that not here? I thought he was at the time, at least. Yeah, he's a champion, 2002 King of the Ring. You can read the rest of this stuff, but hands down, his biggest achievement was ending the Undertaker streak at WrestleMania 30. So I uh, will unbox this for you and show off the cool stuff. Oh uh, yeah, I love Brock Lesnar. And then here's the backing. Looks really cool. Like I said in my Big Boss Man review, that one was a red one. So if you want to keep this and somehow make an entrance stage with them, uh, if not, throw it out. But uh, really great backing by Mattel. So before we do the figure, we're always going to talk about the accessories. Here is his shirt. Here comes the pain straight out of the early 2000s. And if this is indeed his 2004 jacket from WrestleMania 20, it looks... His jacket, his shirt from WrestleMania 20, it looks really awesome. Uh, of course, the spines on the back reminiscent to his tattoo. That is really menacing and awesome. And I guess right there, if you put on his shirt, which we will in a second, that continues with his back uh, tights. So really awesome stuff. I'll show you that here later but uh you know i like the rubber shirts that they have they're nice a lot of texture here i don't know if you can see it on camera or not but uh it's really nice and of course it fits over and it locks with these little pieces on the side i really like it. it's really great and of course here's the 2000s the early 2000s era championship belt it looks great it really does you have your hooks right there and then that and it can throw it on his waist and all this is uh, rubber, and then of course, plastic, and just really great detailing. I like Mattel. So I guess we'll just demo it real quick. We'll throw on his jacket. His jacket, why do I keep saying his jacket? Probably because it's three in the morning and I'm doing toy reviews. Yeah, so getting his shirt on and off is gonna be kind of a pain because his head sculpt is so aggressive because he's yelling. Bam, locked in. It looks really great. Uh, you obviously notice he's missing pants, like I'll just show you right now. Bam! The Elite 30. I think this is the Elite 30. You know how much this guy cost me? A lot. He has the pants here. I wish he would have pants, because I'm pretty sure he came out with pants back in the early 2000s. Not just his resurgence from like 2011 and on. 2012-ish. Kind of sucks, but they give you a belt instead of pants. I would like to have the pants instead of the belt, but the belt's really nice. Of course, you can put it over his shoulder. On a diorama 
Or you can have him, uh, how am I gonna do this? Wear it with the shirt. So I gotta put it at the very end. You can kinda have it, let's see if we can shimmy it with the shirt. Maybe we can go higher and then the shirt will allow us to, nope, you're gonna have to go really low and put it on. So that kinda stinks. Oh man, there you go. So it's gotta be kinda low. It works okay, there he is. Looks pretty good. So let's take this stuff off and show you the figure. So there were quite a bit of complaints about this head sculpt. I'm gonna show you right here. Which one looks more like Brock Lesnar? It's this one. This one looks more like Brock Lesnar compared to this one. I thought this one looked really great when I bought it. I'm like, oh my God, it's great. I need one regular, you know, smiling face figure of this guy. And then one raw when he's, you know, F5ing people. And this one just doesn't look like Brock Lesnar compared to this one. This one looks like Brock Lesnar. You can probably buy this figure and swap it on and put it on this one. It'll look pretty damn good. And I mean, he didn't, like, change his hairstyling. So... And this would be perfect. He didn't dye his hair or nothing. So this head would work with any of them. I mean, I don't know why people are complaining about this head. I like this head when he's screaming and doing F5s, especially if you're doing a diorama or if you're just playing with him. He's just crazy. He could be kicking the shit out of people. I love Brock Lesnar, and I think this head is just fine. So I'm going to give you measurements before I forget them because I probably will. He is pretty tall. He stands at about 6 and seven eighths ish so i'm just going to show you the detailing of the head sculpt i like it a lot it looks great you can even see the awesomeness mattel did this is smooth and then this if you can see is all pebble textured right there like his head is shaved and that's like the stubble from his head being shaved that's awesome that's really great head should move 360 and it does i want to be very careful not to mess this up and he can move up and down, so that looks great. Tattoos, very accurate, as usual, damn, bam, and bam. And this is before he has his, uh, I mean, you already know, he already has the uh, dagger to his throat because he felt like people in the media were had a you know dagger in his throat, so he put it on his chest. <laughs> but uh, this Brock Lesnar's awesome. Did I already show you the back tattoo? Looks amazing like it usually does. Tights, black trunks, black wrist tape, no other accessories besides that. You have knee pads. I love Mattel's wrestling figures. They have rubber knee pads, even on the basic guys and the elbow pads. Obviously, he doesn't wear elbow pads, but rubber, it's really great. Double jointed knees. I'll show off the articulation here in a second after I'm done showing the boots, which look great. Very accurate to me. I haven't seen a Brock Lesnar match in a while, but I'm pretty sure that was his style. And uh, they're kind of short-ish. I don't know if they're the same size. Yeah, they go a little bit shorter and his... Uh, newer apparel so but yeah i like it a lot this is a great looking figure so let's show off the articulation just showed off the head here you go pretty much a straight line with the shoulders and then of course they rotate on a 360 axis great stuff his biceps and his triceps are just monstrous yeah he was a big dude like his traps were out of this world and they're they're pretty big here but they're kind of like standard for wrestlers um his big ass single joint elbows go down there at 90 degree angles and the wrists move on a 360. One is open fist and one is closed fist, so that's interesting. So he can hold something in this hand and in this hand he can't, he just punches people. Ab crunch, abs look pretty good. And you can see the traps there. Uh, they probably, because of articulation, they didn't make his traps like ridiculously huge. I'm saying traps, but I mean lats. So uh, his lats there, if you have his arms open, they look a little bit ridiculous, but uh, eh, eh, they're okay. Uh, the ab crunch, so he can all the way back, all the way forward. A lot of range there for my man Brock Lesnar. And then hips on a 360. And then legs, uh, he can split. I don't see a reason for that. And of course he can move on a 360 at the top of the thigh on both legs. He can sit down and he can also sit in a chair because of the double jointed knees. And I'm gonna go all the way back here. The uh, rubber knee pads might be restricting him a little bit, but he does have a lot of motion, per usual. And then uh, feet on a 360, ridiculously amazing. And then, of course, they move down and up. So here are the downs. I guess maybe this foot doesn't move down as much as this one, but I'll show you right here. See the differences. This one doesn't move down much on the right, his left foot. And uh, his right foot moves down a lot. So I don't know what's up with that. That's interesting. Does this need to be broken in? I don't know. 
yeah maybe mine's broken because it does have an up and down but uh it does move a little bit on the side so you can balance properly and there is the articulations for Bork Laser WrestleMania 32, aka Retro WrestleMania 20 figure. These elites, though, I will I will say they're a little bit loose legged. I wish they were a little bit stronger legged. I know the trick of throwing it in the fridge. I don't want to throw this in the fridge. I want to have strong legs from the get go. A lot of these elites have not that strong of legs. So uh, I'm gonna give a final score for Bork Laser. Probably has the open fist to hold the uh, the belt. What am I going to give WrestleMania 32 Brock Lesnar out of 10? A lot of people don't like the head sculpt, but I do. I don't know if I can really give it a 10, but I'm going to give it a 9. It gets the loved it seal of approval. It looks just like Brock Lesnar, in my opinion. It comes with a really awesome shirt. It is a little hard to come off. That's probably one of the biggest gripes I have with this guy. But it comes with the belt, comes with the shirt. Great articulation like elites usually have. This looks really great. I love Brock Lesnar. And I love this figure. A 9 out of 10, it gets a recommendation of the Loved It Seal of Approval. And I say if you guys see this guy at Toys R Us or Walmart, I got this guy at Toys R Us. Uh, you can probably get him at Walmart, he's starting to show up now. But I really like this guy, and this guy I actually like so much that I actually want to buy The Undertaker from the same line, the whole two of WrestleMania 32 Elite Collection. And that one is actually from last year's WrestleMania, WrestleMania 31, when he fought Bray Wyatt, and it was kind of a eh match. But it was a really good look for The Undertaker. And yeah, they put those two together for this little mini line. And I prefer this one. You know, that Undertaker looks really great. If you're a big Undertaker fan, I definitely recommend picking that one up. That one looks awesome. But this one just looks awesome for Brock Lesnar fans like myself. And I'm a huge Brock Lesnar fan. And I wish he was the champ again, like he was right here pictured. Pretty much when he beat Hulk Hogan. And I actually loved Hulk Hogan a lot at that time. But yeah. Brock Lesnar, guys. Thanks very much for watching. If you like this video, give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe down below to stay tuned for the latest and greatest from this channel, including more wrestling figures and more wrestling figure reviews, including the Authentic Skill Ring, the WWE Mattel Entrance Stage, the old school steel cage from the 80s, and the new Extreme Rules that he's actually on the box, but figure's not included, sadly, steel cage review. All that stuff's coming uh, within this year. And I can't wait to show you guys. And hopefully I can buy more and more wrestling figures because I love wrestling. I haven't watched the product in a while because I only really watch it for this guy. But I love wrestling and I want to collect more of these guys' figures because Mattel makes the best wrestling figures out of any company from the past like 40 or whatever years. So keep it up, Mattel. I love this figure. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you dislike this video, we apologize for any inconvenience. And Brock Lesnar will hit you with a championship belt. Oh, Thanks, guys. Bye. Big Boss Man kicks a lot of ass. Uh, oh, body slam. Oh. Let's uh, pose him with Hulk Hogan here. And, oh. What's he saying to Hogan? I don't know, maybe reading his rights, maybe. Who oh, did